fam and happy holidays. Firstly, I just want to say OMG. 400,000 subscribers in the Chew Tips family. Like what? That is so exciting. I really didn't think this year I was going to surpass 400,000. And it's all because of you guys. So thank you so, so much for all of your love, support, your kind of messages. And I just love how our family is growing, becoming so big and so amazing. Even my parents called me. They were like, Jen, you're only five subscribers away from 400,000. And I was like, what? I am? And I just kept watching the live thing on the social blade. I was like, oh my god. It's happening. I just want to say thank you guys. You guys are amazing and I love each and every one of you. Now back to today's video, we're going to be talking about lip care hacks because during the colder seasons, especially now, lips get dry, chapped, and just overall kind of yucky. So if you're having that problem, this video is for you. I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything from skincare to the final result, how to get really soft, supple, and beautiful lips even in the winter season. If you guys love videos like this one, more skincare videos, I know you guys love my skincare videos. So I want to do more of those for you guys. If there's any topics in skincare you guys want me to talk about, let me know, comment below. The more you tell me what you want, the better. Also, I wanted to remind you guys that I do have a holiday beauty box giveaway happening right now. So if you haven't entered that giveaway yet, definitely do. I will put the link in the description box below. I'm selecting five winners for this giveaway box. Be sure to add me on Snapchat and Instagram if you want to see more behind the scenes. I do a lot of get ready with me's and also a ton of unboxings, which apparently a lot of people like to watch. So if you want to see what I get in the mail, add me on Snapchat and Instagram. And now let's cue to the video. First up, one of the best cures for dry lips is sweet almond oil. I love using the Caudalie cleansing oil with grape and sweet almond because it's so nourishing and it's great to use for cracked lips. After using this one time, my lips already feel incredible. Once the lips are clean, I don't even wash it off. I just pat off the excess because the oils are so nice on the lips. It's super gentle and let's just say I've been really into cleansing oils lately. Must be because of the cold winter days. Remember Mama Chew's tips for beautiful skin? She did say rice. I love using the Body Shop Chinese Ginseng and Rice Mask for my lips. It's super gentle and gives a really soft exfoliation, which is great for the lip area. I just use a pea-sized amount and scrub, scrub, scrub all over the lips and then wipe clean. The next hack is a life changer. I've been using the Coco Star Rose Petals Face Mask, but for the lips instead. They actually are the perfect size and shape for lips and it's so hydrating. I just place it over my lips and make sure to pat it in and let it sit for at least 20 minutes. Then I just gently peel it off. Can you see how soft and supple my lips are just after this treatment? I'm absolutely in love with it. Now let's get to priming the lips for lipstick. Here I'm using the Ilia Translucent Powder all over the lips to help with any bleeding from the lipstick. Using my Beauty Blender, I'm also going to lightly dab this all over the edges of the lips. If you want your lipsticks to stay true to the color, use a color corrector. And here I'm using the Juvian's Color Corrector and applying the lightest color to my lips. This is going to cancel out the natural color of my lips so that the true lipstick color will show more noticeably. I think I used lipstick like a million times there. <laughs> Then it's time to apply lipstick. One of my favorites this winter is the Lancome L'Absolu Rouge Lipstick. It's packed with vitamin E, which is so hydrating and moisturizing to wear in the colder months. It's also really sleek, and I love the consistency of the lipstick because it doesn't fade or flake, so it's definitely a bonus for dry and cracked lips. And last but not least, one of my favorite tips for just making your lips stand out and pop out more is using a bit of concealer on the outer bottom edges of the mouth. Here I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour concealer and it just gives my lips that extra pouty touch. Here's to soft, supple, and beautiful lips even in the winter season. And now we're done. So those are my lip care hacks for dry, chapped, and flaky lips. If you tend to get more drier lips during this time of year, these tips will definitely help you. They certainly help me, especially the exfoliating, the oil cleanser, and most importantly, the rose petal mask is just so good and so hydrating. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and to remember to subscribe to my channel, push that notification button or that bell thingy so you get my videos every week and you don't miss out on them. I I love you guys so so much happy holidays and thank you so much for 400,000 subscribers i love each and every one of you and i'll see you all very soon in my next video bye for now be sure to watch my latest two videos for even more chances to win a giveaway see you guys over there